actually train your brain to learn easier, think faster, and perform better. And you can do all this at any age. And here to tell us how we can do this is Michelle Davis from Learning RX Chattanooga. Hello. Great to have you here this Thank morning. You. So we're going to get our brain. I, I shared with you yesterday. We'll just blame it on the weather. It was not such a great day for the brain. We have days like that. It happens. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> That's right. What makes you guys say you're not just a tutoring center? That's you're right. You really, uh, you know, develop and and do all kinds of That's things. That's right. right. So there are really seven core skills that the okay. brain uses to think, learn, remember, read, and these skills are called cognitive skills or brain skills like attention, mm -hmm. memory, processing speed, visual processing, auditory processing, and these skills all work together right. and uh, allow us to be able to learn easily and quickly. And so the goal of our training center is to train those skills. Um, so it's a lot of fun, it's really game-based, but it builds those skills to ultimately build IQ and make learning easier. Right, because you said this is not just for children, it's for adults. We all need to be working That's and right. doing these exercises, That's right? That's right. Well, we all use our processing speed skills, our attention right. skills every day, and so training those is the key. Right, and you brought me a little stress ball. I guess, you know, there's other factors <laughs> that certainly affect your brain. You know, with, yes. with rest oh, yes. and sleep. I think it was just a, a combination for me yesterday. Oh, yeah. But and all those happens. things are important as well. Yes, and, and like I said, at any age, you can really train these skills. But w whether it's um, dyslexia or ADHD or a specific learning struggle, there's an underlying cognitive skill issue the majority of the time that we can right. train and help improve. Um, the, the research behind it goes back 40 years, so that's a big part of it. Um, but we actually get um, anywhere from a three to five year improvement typically in about a six month time frame. So it's a really neat training program here in Chattanooga. Right, and is this something that probably that, that you do like out of school or after school a lot of times that the parents can bring their children to your yes, facilities? Yes, yeah, we, we, we are open until about 8 p.m. so we have a lot of people come after school. Um, we actually have upcoming in the next couple of weeks what we call Brain Awareness Week. Okay. Um, and it's a time when we um, really, it, it, the goal is to educate the public on what we call neuroplasticity, which is the brain's ability to change. Uh -huh. And this science is, is really emerging and growing, but um, all week at our center, and this is the uh, March 13th through 19th, we'll be having activities um, each day from um, Einstein's birthday is this is that week to uh, Pi Day 3.14 on the 14th. And um, we'll have all kinds of contests. Our Facebook page has lots of information. Um, right. That's a great place to look and, and see what we'll be doing that week. I think week. we have some video of some things that you actually do there, kind of at some, some different exercises. Exercises yes. that you can do there at Learning RX, but you and you brought some things too today. You said there's other skills. That, I mean, that, is there, are there things parents can do at home even with their yes. kids? Like when you're riding in the car, we take those trips. Yes. Now technology and is such a big part of yes. everything we do. But are there some other like little fun things we can do? And that's or? a great thing because a lot of times we talk about building um, processing speed, so how quickly you can get uh, get your information or answer out. Right. Um, and so one way you can do that is by adding a stopwatch. It's such a simple and easy way to to time and activity. So if you're working on um, even whether it's homework or whether it's picking up your toys or whatever it may be, uh -huh. you can have or picking up around the house. It doesn't right. have to be toys. You can uh, time yourself and you know, go from 10 minutes to 7 minutes to 5 minutes and improve right. your speed. And we don't have a lot of time, so we've got to quickly get this in because you're, you're going to try to test yes, me Yes, we're going to do a word. fun game. Okay. So this is uh, an attention sleep. activity that we do <laughs> okay. where your brain is going to want to say the, the uh, read the word, which uh -huh. is black, red, green from the top. But right. I want you to say the color that the word is written oh in, so you're going to have to okay. pick a little bit harder and focus <laughs> we should practice more. your okay. attention. All right, so this would be like red. Black. That's right. Blue. You go as fast as you can. Ha! Ah, okay. And then you and to say yellow, right? Yes. That is, you know, yep, you're trying yep, to get yep. me there. Okay. So then we say, you said say the color again, right? Please, yes. You have to really focus. Yes, Green. You do. <laughs> you have to do that. Yeah. And we say blue and then yellow and then black. So it is hard. That's and you do right. this timed, right? And we'll time it and then we can even add a metronome beat where we have you oh, answer on a beat so that you're having to think fast and really focus. We'll, we'll do that when you come back on a Monday <laughs> after I've rested for the weekend. Well, thank you it's so much. I mean, it's a great uh, facility here. You're located where? Uh, near Hamilton Place Mall okay. uh, next to Bed Bath & Beyond. All right. And you can always find out more information at learningrx.com. Thank you again for being here thank and we'll you. be right back with more Let's Chat.